36 straight months above above 8 percent. And so uh, th this is not a president who deserves a second term, despite the fact that he was on the Today Show just a couple weeks ago saying he does deserve a second term. I, I look and say, why? Mitt Romney campaigning in Michigan, the primary there a week from tomorrow. That's his home state. And he's trailing in the polls. Let's bring in Steve Roberts, our political analyst, to talk about this, Steve, because others are saying this morning, if Mitt Romney loses Michigan, the Republicans need another candidate. What do you think? Well, I think it does. Uh, it, it's in no way fatal for Mitt Romney. Uh, let's remember a basic truth. Still got the best organization, still got the most money. Barack Obama won the nomination four years ago, losing many major states, Ohio, Pennsylvania. So let's not rush to conclusions here. But uh, it does reflect uh, something that has been true for months, and that is Romney, even while he is the front runner simply does not create much excitement, much uh, enthusiasm in the Republican base. He just doesn't relate to ordinary voters. Uh, uh, the exit polls, uh, it's very clear. The older you are and the richer you are, the more likely you, you are to be for Mitt Romney. And so uh, it, the, the real story here is Romney's weakness, not necessarily Santorum's strength. And um, uh, and so if if Romney does lose Michigan, everybody knows it's his home state. Father was a popular governor. That's, I think, going to send a lot of shockwaves through Republican ranks. And what they do about it, I'm not sure. I think there'll be talk. I think it'll stay talk of someone else getting into the race, whether it's Governor Christie of New Jersey or Governor Daniels of Indiana. I don't think that'll really happen. And I do think, in the end, Romney's organization and money will prevail. But it's clear uh, already, even before he loses Michigan, if he does that he is a weak candidate who uh, fails to strike sparks with a lot of voters. Meantime, Rick Santorum had a uh, rather newsworthy week of some very strong remarks on the president and the government's role in education. Well, you know, Santorum is what he is. He's an orthodox conservative, a very strong conservative. Now, that appeals to a lot of hardcore Republican voters, without a doubt. But will that wear well in a general election? Um, you take just one issue. Uh, his very critical remarks on contraception. Um, that is just not a mainstream American opinion, particularly with women and particularly with younger women. And Democrats cannot win the presidency without strong majorities among women. Um, and they look at someone like Santorum, and they believe that they can take his hardcore social issue policies and use them very effectively with somewhat more moderate suburban women in key states like Ohio and Florida. We have a uh, prominent unnamed Republican senator telling Jonathan Carl, if Romney doesn't win Michigan, we need a new candidate. He says it's not Santorum or Gingrich. They would lose 35 states. Carl said who? He said Jeb Bush from Florida, former Fort Florida governor. What do you think? Well, I think Jeb Bush has a lot of strengths. Uh, he was a very successful governor of a key state. He has always been much more uh, shrewd and much more forthcoming than most Republicans in courting Hispanic votes. One of the key factors in this election is the anti-immigration rhetoric on the Republican side is just setting up um, Democrats to sweep the Hispanic vote. They won two out of three Hispanic votes last time, uh, and they would likely win even more this time. So Bush would have his advantages. But um, there are obvious disadvantages. When his brother left office, he was not a particularly popular president. Uh, and um, uh, so I think it would pull two ways. But on balance, I think Jeb Bush would be a stronger candidate than either uh, than any of the people who are in the race now. Quick word on uh, how high gas prices are going to impact the president's campaign, Steve. Oh, I think this is a tremendously important issue out there. Um, uh, you know, things look good for Obama. There are many positive signs. The mood of America is improving. Uh, the economy is improving. Unemployment's going down. His numbers are going up. But their great Democratic nightmare is something outside uh, uh, his control will affect the election. It could be a natural disaster like Katrina or the Japanese tsunami, um, uh, an economic meltdown in Europe, and probably number one on the list, instability in the Middle East that could have the effect of restricting oil uh, supplies and driving up oil prices. That's a kitchen table issue. People see those signs every single day, even when they're not filling up their cars. They're reminded every day when they drive past those pumps 
And I think this is a very significant issue that's hovering out there and could really be a, uh, a very difficult one for Obama to deal with. ABC's Steve Roberts. Steve, thank you very much. Okay. Always a pleasure.